Hello everyone, Alex here from warnoffkeys.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can attach images to certain Discord messages. So as an example, I found this image on Google. You can use whatever image you want as long as you have a URL to it. And we're going to be able to take this URL and actually attach this image into our Discord message using Discord.js. Real quick before we start, if you do need help with anything, then feel free to ask within the Warn Off Keys Discord server. We have a bunch of people joining every day. We just passed 1900 members, as you can see here. Once you've joined, you can scroll down and you can ask your questions within the JavaScript channel, and I'm sure someone will be able to help you out. So with that said, let's get started. I'm going to be using the commando framework in order to create my commands. However, if you're familiar with a different command system, then feel free to use that one instead. I'm going inside of my commands directory. I'm going to go inside of my misc directory, and I'm going to make a new file called image.js. So our command here is going to be exclamation point image, and that's going to then send a message that says that here's an image, and then it will attach that image that we have previously mentioned, this image right here, into that actual message. And this isn't just going to link to it and have an automatic embed from Discord. This is actually going to attach the image without a link being visible at all. So first, in order to create a commando command, we have to first import commando. We can do that with const commando equals require discord.js-commando. At this stage, we have to export a class, which is going to extend commando.command. So we can say module.exports equals class. We can call this image command. And this class is going to extend or inherit the functionality using the extends keyword of commando.command. Now within here, we're going to be able to create a constructor function. And this is a method that is going to be ran whenever a new instance of this class is created. It has one parameter, which is the client. And then within here, we can call the constructor function for our command class, which we're extending right here. And in order to do that, we have to call the super function. This is going to take in two pieces of information. The first one is the client, which we already have access to. The second one is going to be an object, which contains some configuration for this command, such as the name. In this case, it's going to be image. We can have a group, which is going to be misc because we are inside of the misc folder within our directory. We can then have a member name, which will also be image. We can have a description, which will be send an image. And then we can create a run method. So run is going to equal this. This method is going to have one parameter, which is a message, which we could then use to reply to. So I can say message dot reply. Here is an image. So currently we're not attaching an image to this, of course, but let's go ahead and test this just to make sure everything's working so far. I can save my code. Going into my console, I can run node index.js, and then I can go into Discord, and we see my tutorial bot is now online. Now I can do exclamation point image, and it's going to then say, here is an image. That's working so far. I'm going to go ahead and stop the bot, going back to our code. We can then import something called a message attachment from the Discord.js library. So I can say const empty object equals require discord.js. And again, this is the actual discord.js library, not the commando library. And within here, we can then import message attachment. The reason why we created the empty objects first and then typed out the require is so we have autocomplete here. And we can also see other options because now VS Code understands what we're trying to import from. So for example, message attachment. Now we have access to that. We want to create a new message attachment. So we can say const attachment equals new message attachment. Now, what do we pass in through here? Let's go ahead and check out the discord.js documentation. So going to discord.js.org, I can click on documentation and we can do a search for message attachment. And we see it right here. Here we see discord.message attachment, which has three different parameters. The first one is an attachment, which is a buffer resolvable or a stream. The description is that this is the file. So I believe you can actually pass in an actual image that you load locally or you can pass in a string, which is going to be the URL. I'll be demonstrating both for this video. And then we also have name and data, which are optional things. So we won't be touching those within this video. However, once you have created a message attachment, you can check different things such as the height or the width, the URL. We can then reset the file or reset the name with different methods. And so we have a few different options to work with here. Going back to our code, we can then pass in the image so I can go back and copy this image URL. I'll link this in the video description. However, you can pull any image off of Google Images or wherever you want, as long as you have a URL. 
we can then go back and paste it in here. And then after we are replying, we want to then attach this attachment, which is going to be a second argument. How do I know this? Well, we can go ahead and check the documentation. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this tab so we can keep a reference to our message attachment. But on this new tab, I'm then going to search for message. And here we see this class right here called message. Scrolling down under methods, we see reply. Clicking on that, we see our content, which is going to be the actual string or options. And these are technically going to be things such as the message attachment. So we can go ahead and attach something as a second object here. Going back, we see that we have done that right here as a second argument. We've passed in attachment. I can go ahead and save this. I can open up Discord and my console, and I can run the code. I can then run an exclamation point image. And it's going to say here's an image with the actual image attachment. And you see that, that there's no embed due to a URL being in the image. It is actually attached to this message. So now we're going to go ahead and try and attach the image using a local file. So I'm going to go to this image and I'm going to right click and I'm going to save this image. I'm now within my folder for this exact episode. I can go inside of my commands and inside of misc and for simplicity, I'm just going to paste it right in here. I'm going to call this image. Then we can minimize this and we should see it right here. So in order to actually provide an image file, we first have to import that image. And that means we have to import two files into this file. And these are going to be modules that are included by Node.js by default. And so we do not have to manually install them. But the first one is const fs, which will require fs. This is going to allow us to do a bunch of cool things with images. But for now, we're just wanting to actually import them. This is going to allow us to do a bunch of cool things with files. But for now, we just want to use that to actually import this file. And this often pairs with another package called path. Now that we have these two, we want to go ahead and import this image file. So I can say const image equals fs.read file sync. This is going to synchronously load the image, which means that it will not continue to execute our further code, such as creating an attachment and sending a message until our actual file is loaded. So read file sync requires an actual path to this image. However, this is going to expect a absolute path, which means it's going to expect the C drive, the user, the username, desktop, all of that stuff. And we don't want to type that out. So we can use the path module, which we just imported to be able to make this easier for us. We can use path.join, and this is going to join in two strings. The first of which is going to be the underscore underscore dir name, which is going to reference the current absolute path for the current directory. In this case, that is the misc folder. So this is going to do the heavy lifting for us. So we don't have to actually specify C drive, user, username, and all of that nonsense. Now, afterwards, we want to mention the name of the file. In this case, it is image.jpg. Use whatever you named your actual image as. And now instead of attaching this string here for this URL, we can attach the image object. We can then save this and we can run the bot. Going back into Discord, I can then run exclamation point image. And it's now going to say here's an image and this is our local image that we saved directly inside of our Bosch folder. Well, the first one here is from a URL. And so this is how you're going to attach an image to your message, whether you're using a URL or a local file. Thanks for watching this Discord JS tutorial. If you want to learn more about Discord JS, consider clicking on the playlist you see on your screen now. If you need help, feel free to leave a comment or ask in the Warnoff Keys Discord, which can be found in the video description.